sure you got everything? You want to try to reprogram that mine without the proper translation? Thought of a laptop? Well, I have one. I just couldn't find Bex Ancient Phoenician Symbology on CD at archaeology.com. So. so how's the new job? Aye, one crisis after another. This morning, the mess got a shipment of Yukon gold potatoes instead of the usual russets. No. No, yes. The golds don't make for good mash. Consistency's all wrong. Mm. You. Oh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm trying to quit. Looks familiar. It should. It's something that you spoke for a few days. It's a variation of the writings used by the ancients. Well, if you're looking for help translating it, you're barking up the wrong genius. No, I realize that the Asgard's returning to normal, which is fortunate, I suppose. But um, if you could give me uh, more details about the layout of the ruins, it might be easy. Gee, sorry, Dr. Jackson. Oops. OK, Sigmund. What are my dreams about? Since your friend Sarah was taken as a host by Osiris, you have been unable to save her. Perhaps that is the focus of your subconscious desires. We do need it. But, as you have suggested, we can get it elsewhere if necessary. How much do you need? Would you repeat that? How much do you need? Our scientists will work out the specifics. Okay, well, it, it, there's no easy way to tell you this, so Sam's just going to come right out and say it. And I was right. The pyramids really were landing sites for interplanetary starships and enslaved primitive human populations by posing as their gods. Well, we found the ring in the sand. These symbols, they look familiar. They're like constellations, don't you see? Here. If each symbol represents a specific point in space, then six of them would create a sort of box. The intersection point between those six points would indicate a destination. Maybe, just maybe, the seventh marks the starting point. Is there a monitor that shows these symbols in detail? Over here, Dr. Jackson. Wait. This one seems different. We found the ring in Egypt. The pyramid represents Earth. This symbol has to be the point of origin. It was under our noses the whole time. You're so stupid. Most often, dreams are merely the mind's way of dealing with desires that cannot be fulfilled. Oh. So basically, I'm destined never to get a good night's sleep again. Knowing your past experiences, Daniel Jackson, I do not know how you have slept well before now. Thank you, Teal. This conversation has been disturbing on many levels. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Daedalus. No, you're not. You're right. I'm not. Yeah, we wanted to learn more about your relationship with the Hashem. What would you like to know? If they are honorable. Yeah, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but... They've been friends to us since I remember. A general... Sir. About the obviously impending court martials, I'd like. We're all under the influence of an alien technology, Colonel. That's a pretty solid defense. Even so, I. I'm sorry. Me too. Me three. Daniel, these are BX rockets. Yeah, what's this? Methyl plus monothioic acid. Which is? Nerve gas. Okay, putting that back. So this guy's an alien? No. Um, I'm pretty sure the aliens discovered a means by which they could ascend to some higher plane of existence and went there, uh, wherever there is. But they left the writings in the shrine as a kind of map for others who wanted to follow them. The monk is just someone who's sort of taken about curatorship. Kind of a janitor? More of a guide. An usher? It doesn't matter. Just watch. I'm talking about a twist. Something nobody's expecting. You mean something like this?
Wow. I don't think anyone will see that coming. No, they'll be spoilers. Are you kidding? It'll be in the commercial. Well, that's assuming the inhabitants were foreign to the planet. I, I can probably date its construction and compare it to the rest of the structures using some sort of carbon analysis. How long? For what? All of it. How long? Uh, well, days, weeks, months, maybe, of meticulous, tedious, boring, well, tediousness. I mean, but, uh, I can just keep working now, by lunch, at least. You okay? My sister says I shouldn't talk to you. You don't have to. I'll just sit here for a while. I'm Daniel. I wasn't talking to you. Who are you talking to, then? No one. So how are you? I feel tired. Who are you talking to? No one. Take a break. Fraser says Teal'c needs a little pep talk. I've been practicing in front of a mirror for an hour. Not peppy enough? Not really. How are you feeling? <laughs> I don't suppose you know what a hangover is. <sighs> Never mind. Look, all I know is that the place you're searching right now is not it. Then, where is it? Did I just say all I know? Everyone turn away. I want no witnesses. Who were those Jaffa attacking you? They were led by my second in command, Captain Nelson, as part of the daily exercise. We have kept the Jaffa encampment separate so that we may better practice our Earth behavior. Shall I have them sent for? No, I don't think that'll be necessary. Send for him. Yes, send for him. Then why don't you let me do it? Uh, I can do it. Just uh, do me a favor. I need some help. Okay, well. Go to the panel by the rear exit. Okay, now what? Stay there, shut up, and let me finish. One of the ships is hailing us. Jackson. Oh, right. Hi, hi, how are you? I was expecting Anateo. Yes, he was here for a while, but then he had to go. Your ship is battered. My scans tell me your shield strength is low, and if you had hyperdrive, you would have left long ago. Surrender now, or be destroyed. Right. Okie dokie. We surrender. Sorry, I'm late. I uh, forgot what time the meeting was. <laughs> it's a little joke there. It's the memory thing. Dr. Jackson, this briefing is classified. Yeah, Jonas mentioned that, but um, you all said that I used to be part of this, so. Uh... Good enough. Besides, who am I going to tell? I mean, I don't, uh, I don't remember anybody, right? <laughs> Good one. Thanks, Jim. No offense, Daniel, but it's not like you don't have some issues to work out. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should talk to someone. I thought I was. Colonel. Carter. Coffee. Talk to you later, OK? <clears throat> Okay. Uh, not really. 
Yeah, you think I race fast enough to fly around in spaceships would be smart enough to have seat belts, huh? Oh, we just prefer not to crash. Oh, come on, I'm gonna get out of here. Is there a problem? I mean no disrespect, but I have given my allegiance to you, to the SGC, and to the people of this world freely. I will, however, not see to the petty needs of these Goa'uld. I'll see to the petty needs of the Gold, sir. Okay, Dr. Jackson. Tilk, you will assist Major Castleman with base security. How do you mark time? Um, years, days? Uh, a day is one revolution of our planet. Uh, a year is one revolution around our sun. There are 365 days in one year, so... Then I am 432 years old. Well, uh, you look great. Thank you. Did you find anything? Probably nothing we can use. Maybe we'll at least get a cellular level analysis on the Goulds, maybe even find some DNA information. A lot of that will probably be mine. You? I guess she's got whatever Johnson's got. I had to drag her off to the infirmary. What, she start a fight with you like Johnson did with Tilg? No, she, uh, she tried to seduce me. Oh. You poor man. No, it wasn't like that. Um, Daniel? Hmm. That's stuff I was talking about at my house. Okay. Um, the place was bugged. I had to keep up the act. No, I, yeah, I, I understand. And obviously the whole friendship thing, the foundation, it's all solid. Uh, obviously. It's, it, I don't, don't know where it is. No, I, I feel kind of... I do appreciate that you were the one that came to see if I was okay. That, that means something. I uh, actually, no, it doesn't. Huh? Um... We, uh, we drew straws. I lost. 